This problem is one from your Connect homework, number four. And some of you were asking me for help with this problem. Um, you were saying that they gave you so many to do. But the thing is, if you know what you're doing, the, this all of these are very similar in that they're all 16 and the exponent is 3 halves. Some of them are negative, I understand that. But let's go ahead and just set this up and see. So if we look at A, this is saying the index, the denominator is a 2 on all of these. So all of them are going to have an index of 2. So remember, we don't need to write that since it's a 2. And then it's saying 16 goes on the inside. And then the 3 goes around. Now, because it's negative 3 here, all that means is that the answer is going to move to the denominator. So let's go ahead and see what this would equal. So the square root of 16 is 4, and then 4 to the third power is 64. But because it was negative, it means it would move to the denominator. So that is a real number. We got a number that we were able to evaluate. Okay, so now if we look at B, we still have 16 inside here, but the only difference with this one is there's a negative, but it's on the outside here. So it's going to equal the same thing here, where the square root of 16 is 4, except for there's no negative exponent, so 4 to the third is 64, and then that negative just gets brought down. So that is a real number negative 64. Okay, this next one says there's a negative on the outside. Again, it would be in the inside if it's in parentheses like it is in D here. And then it has a negative exponent, so that just means the answer will move to the denominator. So here we're going to get the square root of 16, which is 4. 4 to the third power is 64. Bring down the negative. But because the exponent was negative, we know that this is going to go to the denominator. So this is a real number, negative 1 over 64. Alrighty, part D. Part D says negative 16 is in the radical. So we're going to have a negative 16 here. And this time, the square root of negative 16, well, 4 times 4 is not negative 16. Negative 4 times negative 4 is not negative 16. So it is not possible. You cannot have a negative inside the radical and have an even index. So this is not a real number. So the next one is just 16 to the 3 halves. There's no negatives here, so the square root of 16 is 4, and 4 cubed is 64. So this is a real number. We get 64. Okay, here in the parentheses, a negative 16. So that means in the radicals, a negative 16. It's still 3 halves. The negative means it would move to the denominator, but again, we cannot do the square root of negative 16. 4 times 4 is not negative 16. Negative 4 times negative 4 is not negative 16. So this is not a real number.